Hello, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Rune, and today we're playing Viewer Levels. Let's get into it. First level is called Mega Blue Platforming 30 Seconds from Seasons Are Cool. So if you want to send me a level, the best way to send me a level is to check the video description. And sometimes you have to click the show more information, but then you'll see a link to Discord there. There's a Super Mario channel in Discord. That's the best way to send me videos. Let's go. Or sorry, the best way to send me levels. Alright. Oh, this is a this is a speed run. I shouldn't have stopped there. Every time people use those on-offs, they've always got that one trick one. That one trick one where when you jump into it, you get yourself got. There we go, short hop that one. This one takes me up, this one goes... Okay, I'm supposed to keep going. Could've used an arrow there, I had no clue what was going on in that section. But now we know, we run to the right. Alright, go, go, cool. Ooh, okay, that's a corner jump there. Big corner jump. Where are we going? Oh, I'm supposed to keep going. Okay, you know what, I'm sensing the theme of this level is just to keep going. So that's what I'm going to do now. No matter what I encounter, I'm going to hold right and I'm going to jump. And I'm going to hope for the best. Oh, there's a big mushroom. Okay. Don't hold right there. Slow down to jump off of him. Alright, did we do it? We might have been able to. That's that's so rough when you're dealing with that that taking a hit and slowing down thing. There we go. Fun level. Um, the ending is a little bit confusing because when you take a hit and you transition to being a weaker version of Mario, uh, the game kind of freezes and it's kind of hard to deal with that stop and go when you're only on that one square. But great level. Good job. My first level from Kanha. Ooh, okay. This looks like this could be fun. First level. First level and it's a 1.58% clear rate. I don't know what we're going to get here, but I feel like this is going to be something special. Here we go. All right, we got blue platforms, a fantastic start. Throw that. Okay, go in the door. I hope. Claw. All right, climb up here. Over the munchers, through the next door. Ooh, checkpoint. Yes, please. Nope, I want that checkpoint. That's why we want the checkpoint. We're just gonna spin jump over that. All right, more blue platforms. Okay. Hit the P-switch. And then wait. This is where I wait. I just do my waiting dance. All right, that was a little bit tricky. Oh no! I went too soon. There was an indicator there to tell me not to go too soon, but I still went too soon. This time we're going to wait to actually be on the indicator. There we go. All right. Oh, parachute. Like, does he have a parachute or not? No matter what you guess, if you guess they're going to have a parachute, they won't. If you guess they will have a parachute, you're just always wrong. No matter what you guess there, you'll never guess the correct parachute status of a palm. It's like um, USB, like if you try to plug in a USB and it's behind your computer and you can't see whether it's supposed to fit this way or this way, you plug it in and that's wrong. So you reverse it and that's wrong. And then you check and you realize, oh, it was supposed to be the first way and then it fits and it works. I believe that's referred to as Schrodinger's USB. It's Schrodinger's Thwomp. GG, this was a great level. I am surprised that this is somebody's first level. Um, it had a lot of advanced techniques that I wouldn't expect to see in somebody making a level for the first time, so great job. This was a ton of fun. 
This one's called Desert Borderlands from Chewy Bat, which is funny because I just had a notification on, on the bottom of my screen that said Chewy Bat just played the level I just made. So, uh, uh good symmetry here. All right. 1.72% clear rate, only one clear. Let's see what we got here. All right, we've got some Kaizo. Good indicators so far. Really good indicators. Okay. Lost me there a little bit with the indicators. I think I'm supposed to land on that block. There we go. Ouch. Yep, that's the play. I'm on the vine. Jump off the Koopa. I don't think that spring was supposed to hit me. <laughs> so I think I was poorly positioned for that. I need to jump from uh, lower on that vine, I think. That should clear that issue right up. Something like this. Yeah, that's so much better. Just go from lower on the vine. Crouch under here. What's this? That's bad. Okay, so this is a speedy section. Okay, just just keep going. Don't sit there and wait for uh, for thwomps to, to give you a present. Oh, grab the vine. Jump off the vine. Now, I think the thwomp is going to kill the big muncher there when he hits the pow blocks. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. Let's find out. Like this to this. Yep, okay. It does take it out. I waited a little while. Let's wait for it to come back down. Oh! Wait, what? I can stand there. Hey guys, check it out. I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, that works out. Down here. Okay, just trust that the shell is going to take them out, and it's safe for me to stand there. I believe! I believe! I believed, and it worked. Big jump here. Oh! And then that's probably the end. That's got a very ending vibe there. Grab it. Transfer over. Yeah, we're good now. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, I knew that was the end. This was a really fun level. Great Kaizo. This this is textbook unique Kaizo. Like, you did your own unique things. The thwomp's coming. The thing's coming out. Everything was laid out so well. Everything looks so great. Just just a fantastic job. All right, we've got one from Milo Place. Spike Top Cavern. Fancy spinning. 1% clear rate. Only one clear out of 104. I saw my name in the description. I really need to read these descriptions more. My best level in this game so far, and no rune, no boom boom cheese here. No boom boom cheese, you say. I'm dreaming of delicious cheesy boom boom. Oh! <laughs> Went too fast. Okay, I get it now. This is a lot of spike tops. Let's get a whole bunch of these spawned. All right, this this is hopefully enough. Oh, you can't just freely move like that. I was hoping. Hopefully the top ones haven't sunk too far. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Nice. Hmm, there's a down arrow in here. But it feels like I would have had a lot more fun being up there. Oh, there's a Mario. It's a reset, okay. So we might have a need to reset here. Okay, it's interesting trying to figure out if I'm supposed to go under or over them on these. We got it though, we got it. I'm liking this level, I'm liking the- oh no, there's Boom Boom. Hi Boom Boom. Hi Boom Boom. That? I'm gonna call that cheese! <laughs> I'm gonna call that Boom Boom cheese, I hit him once and he died. Whether that was intended or not, I'm claiming cheese. That makes me happy. This was a great level. Um, a fun mechanic constantly having to spin. I loved how in that second section, you had to kind of make up your mind about whether you wanted to go under or over them. And you were like, yeah, oh, they're bombing up and down. I, th I think I can just, just barely get under them. I liked it. Great level.
the core from Seasons are cool. So this is part two of the core one. I played part one earlier. Uh, it was a nice, relaxing, easy level. I'm seeing a 0.19% clear rate. I'm seeing Nerd Alert took 17 minutes to play this. So the sequel to a nice, relaxing, easy level is apparently crazy difficult. Oh boy, here we go. This is the core from Seasons are Cool. Nope. We're only nine seconds into a 17 minute course, so, you know, that's not a good point to be dying at. Yoshi! Bye, Yoshi. Okay. I do not die to blue platforming tricks. I die to, to vine jumps like this. I say immediately before I die. But the blue platforms, the blue platforms I'm good with. Okay, we're gonna make this jump this time. Cool. That looks disgusting. All right. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna do that rather than try and Navigate through this. We were so close. Alright, alright, alright. Get to running. Sliding. Cool. The indicator suggested to me that I probably had to slide through that. I don't really know for sure. Should I just, should I just go under it? Yeah, we're just, we're just doing this. That's, that's probably easier. Alright, we're good now. I said we're good now, and then immediately got eaten by the, by the floor one. Alright, we made it. It was only a matter of time before that jump got me. Only a matter of time. Walk through. Walk through. Walk through. Hard part, hard part. We got it. Just need to not get got by the floor one again. Alright, now we're set. We just fall. Cool. Looks like we're jumping on these pipes. The non off there for some reason. Oh, we got a checkpoint. At the center of the earth is a ghost house. Yep. Looks like this is going to be a run fast section. Oh, I was really hoping to get out my first try. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to. This is going to be like a 30 try thing. Yep. I was actually amazed I got that jump on my first try. Wow. That momentum shift when we're dropping, I just, I feel like I'm not getting my jump. I feel like Luigi is still finding his footing, so I can't get my jump quite yet when I hit the button. And that just throws me off completely. Short hops. There we go, finally got that one. Oh no, oh no, it's a bomb spin. I don't think I'm in quite as much as a hurry as, as I feel like I'm in with this, this cannon chasing me. Big jump here. Yep, there we go. Spin. Bomb spins, I think, to a lot of people are a really easy technique. Not so much to me, though. It's safe to land on the Yoshi. I did not realize this, but now I do. Just gotta get to the Yoshi. There we go. Big jump and hang out with the Yoshi man. And go up in the pipe. What now, what now, what now? Okay. One-ups. 
One ups. One ups. Great level. Very understandable how this had a 17 minute world record. It was that bomb spin. <laughs> it was that bomb spin. Uh, somebody else who's doing this must not have been good at bomb spins, just like I'm not good at them. Great level though, great level. Huge difficulty step up from, from the prequel to this. It's like we went from playing Candyland to playing Twilight Imperium. And if anybody out there plays board games, you know exactly what I mean when I say that. Bullet Bills fly in the sky from Thanos 101. 7% clear rate. Looks like we've got a pretty cool platforming level here. All right. I need something nice and chill to relax after the last level I just played. I don't know what order these levels are coming out in, but the last one was rough. So here we go. Oh man, I love the feel already. It's so colorful. This is just like nice, relaxing, and chill. Bye. I should have gotten that. We're just we're just gonna take out all of our rage on all these Koopas. The Koopas know what they did to deserve this. Whee! All right, that was fun. Okay, that's a lot of bullets. Nice. Alright, we're just gonna have to jump off one of these. This one? I went too slow. One more. Yeah, there we go. Into the pipe. Okay, I like this setup. Having to adjust for the uh, the constantly changing heights, that's pretty fun. I like this. Nice checkpoint. I'm never gonna get these mushrooms in this level. <laughs> Alright, we got a reset door. We got bombs. Where am I taking these bombs? I assume somewhere up here. I actually have no clue what's going on there. Rings. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I liked that, having to swing back and forth while they were shooting at you. Nice. Alright, we got a check- or uh, we got a pipe. Probably a checkpoint. Nope. Yep. Okay, that's the end. Dude, this was exactly the level I needed for my state of mind right now. Oh, this was so much fun. It was just exploration, just jumping off of things. This was just super fun. I was totally in the mood for a level like this. Thank you so much. I enjoyed this. Good job, Thanos. One last level of pain. One clear, 137 attempts from Zeke. 3434. Oh boy. What have we got here? Something about this one scares me. Let's get into it. Okay. We got a shell mitt. The shell jump? Nah. Okay, you know what? Actually, it's this. We ride the shell. Dry bone shell. Oh, it shoots more dry bone shells at us. Well, good thing we've got the shell mitt. We're just gonna ride on these munchers. We got a P switch and a key. And we'll go ahead and get the key. Guess we'll hit the P switch. Not sure what that does. Okay, ride along in the lava. I'm wondering if I wasn't supposed to have gotten the dry bone shell this far because this level seems way too. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Excellent. I remember somebody sent me that intro on a level um, a while ago, and that was the beginning of the level. Oh, but but the level had a dev exit, and I think this is a re-upload without the dev exit. Yeah, this does seem pretty familiar. This is awesome. Okay, I'm really stoked for this level now. I 
am I supposed to do here? I'm so confused. Do I, do I hurt him with the bombs? Can I? Oh, it's just a waiting game. There we go. Alright, I feel like we cheesed that whole thing. So let's, uh, let's go back and do it without the cheese. I don't think we were supposed to have the dry bone shell. Like, that level makes no sense if we had the dry bone shell. So let's, let's not take the dry bone shell, um, past a certain point. Good level though. I liked it. All right, let's go back. Let's replay this. No cheese. All right, definitely supposed to have the dry bones. I think here we're meant to jump out. Yeah, the level feels a lot more platformy if we, uh, we don't have it starting there. Actually, how are we supposed to have the key? Oh, maybe we're supposed to throw the P-switch to get the key. Or we're supposed to use the shell mint there. Okay, there's a lot of different options. I really like this setup right here. If you don't have the um, dry bone shell. That was really cool. Once you have the dry bone shell, that one's just like super easy mode. Yeah, if I was one more block over, probably would have had it. That's the thing, I need to land like on the tip of that second note block. I'm gonna give this one last try, because I have been trying to do this one jump for like 30 minutes now, and I, I just can't get it. So if somebody else out there can do this and let me know, that would be awesome. I have tried so many different ways of making that jump, and it's, it's just not working. We did beat the level. I feel like the way we beat the level was cheese, though. That right there is the best I'm going to do. I I officially give up. I've been trying this for like 30 minutes now. I I, I haven't been able to get this jump. Um, but yeah, fantastic job by this creator. Uh, I really love how they re-uploaded the level without a dev exit. Uh, this level is still very fun, very challenging. Um, I really loved the flow of the first section when I didn't have the cheese stuff, when I didn't have the, uh, the shell mitt or the dry bones. I loved that section where we threw the P-switch and we could jump off of the... Um, the munchers i thought that was really cool so fantastic job with this level and keep it up that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you'd like to follow us on twitter or join our discord the links are available in the video's description the best way to send me level suggestions is via the super mario channel in discord if you'd like to watch other videos you can check out another recommended video here or you can check out the mario and coffee playlist here i'll see you guys in the next one bye